Shout out to all here. If you guys still haven't got your hoodies, your t-shirts, your merchandise from Channel 12 Vlog and Review, you guys can now do so at teesprings.com slash stores slash Channel 12. Go there. I'll be waiting for you. CB12 squad today it is Friday March 23rd it is the first day I'm actually vlogging for this week's vlog this week has been a, a very busy week um, my birthday was on Wednesday I had a fantastic day uh, I want to thank everyone that had wished me a happy birthday and everyone that had sent me cards and everything gifts I really do appreciate it uh, it was a fantastic day that I had uh, to myself, I didn't do anything, uh, vlogs were already up, uh, and then the reviews were already up, so that's even a bonus, so I want to thank everyone uh, that celebrated uh, my birthday with me. Today it is Friday, like I've said, and I'm actually just waiting for my Lana's to come. And it's really windy today, so I'm trying to actually uh, get a, uh, like, film the footage for this vlog without actually having the wind in it. But uh, today I'm just waiting for my in-laws to come. Uh, we're coming over for coffee, so I'm just waiting for them. And tomorrow we might be going to the Maple Syrup Festival in a Shrewsbury. So if I'm going to go there, I'll bring you guys along with us. So nothing exciting today. We didn't really do much besides doing papers. Yesterday I did both of my flyers for both routes. I got that out of the way. So because I did the one in the afternoon, and I thought since it was like six-ish and we still had a bit of a time, so I was like, let's just do the other route. So we got the other one, the other route completely done, which is very good because today I just relaxed, just did my local newspapers, and now I'm just relaxing. So I'm gonna wait for my in-laws. While I'm waiting, see it's gorgeous today. Besides uh, the cold weather, it's pretty nice outside. The cold and the wind. What is up, uh, CB12 squad? Today it is Saturday, March the 24th, and like I've told you guys last night, we are at the Maple Syrup Festival in Shrewsbury. So I'm just we're just uh, waiting to get in line to get in for breakfast because for eight bucks you get pancakes and sausages and apple cider. So we're gonna wait in line. Well, we're done with breakfast which was phenomenal it was pretty good so if you um, this is gonna be for the future if you ever want to come to Shrewsbury I'll leave all the links in the description so you guys can all check it out but it was really good Now we're going to be heading home. Well, I actually got to do my local newspapers. So I uh, will meet you guys right at home. So let's go. I am uh, back after the Maple Festival. Uh, it was a bit disappointing, but the fact that it was my first year attending the Maple Festival, I kind of understood. Um, but the only thing that I didn't do was the, the uh, bush tour where they were to show you how they uh, make the actual maple syrup. Uh, the bush tour was the opposite way of the highway. So it wasn't like across the street, it was the opposite way. We were the one way and the bush tour was the opposite way because they had signs, the breakfast one way and then the bush tour the other way. That was the only thing that I, we didn't do, but it was fine. Uh, if there's gonna be a maple festival next year, I'll certainly We'll certainly attend the bush tour because we'll know where it is. But and overall, the breakfast was amazing. The pancakes, for eight bucks, you get three pancakes, three sausage, and this uh, drink. You can either get orange juice or apple cider, hot apple cider. I took the orange juice. I love apple cider, but orange juice was my preferred drink today. But it was pretty good, pretty darn uh, fun and I'll certainly attend next year. Good afternoon. Today it is a Sunday, uh, March the 25th, 
and I'm actually going uh, to Tim Hortons as always and Food Basics. Uh, we had to go pick up a few things uh, that are currently on sale. So it's a beautiful day today in Chatham, Ontario. Nice sunny sky. A little bit of a wind, but not as cold as last night. Last night was just so cold. I just can't wait for the uh, spring weather to finally come. So I'm going to go get some coffee because I need a coffee. Even though I'll have another one tonight, but you know, two is better than one. So let's go, everyone. Now oh, I am at Food Basics. Busy, busy today. Grab a basket right here while well, might as well. Grab a basket. At least it's nice today, which is which is good because a few days ago it was so cold. We're in March. And we've already passed the first day of spring and it doesn't even feel like enough in like spring. So I'll see, uh, see if I can record it before. This is the only aisle that people are not going in. I'm trying to film, but there's so many people around that I don't want to film them. Now I'm actually in an aisle that no one's in again. The yogurt aisle, of course. Pizzas. Yogurt. Good stuff. I am out of basics. It was really, really busy in, in there. It's like I didn't want to film the people. Uh, people were at each other's backs. Like it was so busy. Like take my world, my word for it, my world, my word for it, that it was. So there was a few aisles that wasn't busy, so that's why I was able to film. But now I'm going to Dollar Tree. So let's go. Oh, it's about a couple minutes before ten on Sunday evening and i want to show you guys what i got at the dollar tree today a few things that i picked up for either reviews or just for myself just to snack on so i'm going to show you a few things i'm going to be doing an, yeah, a kinder egg opening sometime this week so stay tuned for the main channel for number 12 channel uh, that will be posted either i think it's wednesday that i post the kinder egg videos i'll have to go look back at my kinder egg surprise videos and then uh, tell you guys on social media like i always do you know i always keep you guys informed on social media so i'm going to show you guys what i got what i got i got these bunny tail lane gummy bunnies so they're instead of being gummy bears they're gummy bunnies and i figured i'd do this for like an easter video kind of like review not really a review but more like taste test but I guess I at the same time I could do a review on it. So I got two boxes of these. I also got this Coffee Crisp Sticks. I, I never knew they actually had Sticks um, Coffee Crisp, but they do. And this is the Salted Caramel flavor. And of course, I got Kinder Surprise Eggs. I got one right here, Kinder. And I also got two Spider-Man video. Uh, not really videos, but Spider-Man Egg. So I got three bunnies and coffee crisps i always say go shop at the dollar tree or the dollarama they always have unique products and i always find that their products are cheaper uh, than some places i've noticed even the dollarama now uh, the dollarama is getting quite expensive on the quite expensive side for certain things i mean don't get me wrong there's other things that i feel like the dollarama is still cheaper but there are certain things like there was other things that I've seen that was $4 at the Dollarama. And this is the Dollarama, not like the $4 store, you know? Like, this is the Dollarama. You'd think things would be not more than 2 bucks, But now it's like 3 $4. I've never seen nothing for 5 but you never know, you know? So... I still feel the Dollarama is still pretty good when it comes to prices for certain items. Like the things that I go for is good uh, for prices still. Don't get me wrong, they'll probably hike it eventually. Maybe maybe when they see this video, maybe they'll hike it. But the Dollar Tree, I noticed that there's things that are never higher than about $2. 
And uh, that's great because the Dollar Tree is the actual dollar store that I go quite often. I go more the Dollar Tree than the Dollarama. The Dollarama I go when there are certain things that I can't find at the Dollar Tree. But in overall, they're all good. Um, I just say, I'm just telling you that I go the Dollar Tree a lot more than the Dollarama. But, you know, you guys might go the Dollarama more than the Dollar Tree. You know, we don't know. So, if you guys go to any sort of dollar store, let me know in the comments section below on which one you guys go to. Another thing that I do enjoy is the McDonald's coffee. You guys know that... I like McDonald's coffee because of the little stickers. Not just because of the stickers, but the coffee does taste great as well. So when I get the little stickers, when you get seven of them, you get a free medium coffee. Sometimes I'll upgrade it to a large and it will just cost me 20 cents to upgrade. Which, to be honest, it's not that bad. So 20 cents to upgrade to a large compared to $2 at Tim Hortons. You know, I'd rather go to McDonald's for 20 cents. So I'll show you guys... Uh, the stickers that I've got so far, I've I've accumulated this since about a couple months ago, about five, six months ago. So I've accumulated quite a few free coffees over the past six months. When I show people this, they're like, wow, I can't believe you got so much coffees. But I got about 18 free coffees here. And it's all... See that? They're all free coffees. You can get a, a medium which is free, but like I said, you can upgrade to a large for 20 cents more, and I think an extra large for 35 cents more, which let me, like, um, let me tell you, like, to me, I feel like that 20 cents for a large coffee is way better than if you were to buy a coffee at Tim Hortons for $2, so this is why I definitely recommend you guys go to McDonald's. They have always great coffee, but not all just that, but you also get these stickers, so it's like, you buy coffee and you get kind of rewarded at the same time. So definitely go to McDonald's. I definitely recommend it. I'm probably going to call it a night. I'm going to watch my, my, one of my favorite shows, House. If you guys ever watch House, let me know in the comments section below. Because I just love watching House. I got season 1 to 6. No, 1 to 7, I think. It could be 7. But I know I'm missing one of the seasons. But I'm watching season six. I've gotten this far. And I'm just going to call it a night. Relax for the rest of the evening. Uh, and then I'm just going to pick up the vlog all over again tomorrow. You guys know I'm, I vlog normally up until Monday afternoon. And then that's when I uh, call it um, a week. And then I upload the vlog on Tuesday morning. On top of that, I do have, uh, I have to go to Service Ontario tomorrow to renew my health card. And then I have to do a little bit of errands, and then that's pretty much it. Always, if you guys want to get your hoodies, your Channel with 12 vlog or review t-shirts or hoodies, visit teesprings.com slash store slash Channel with 12. Get your merchandise now. Good afternoon, everyone. My CB12 squad. Today it is Monday, March the 8th, and it's a beautiful today. Gorgeous. It's nice. You guys probably can hear the wind, but I'll try to talk as close as I can to the mic. <laughs> but it is beautiful. And I'm actually going to McDonald's, going to get some coffee. Yes, McDonald's, free coffee. Remember those free coffees that I showed you guys? So we'll meet you guys at, at McDonald's. So let's go. And now I am at McDonald's getting a coffee. Free coffee is always better than paying, right? McCafe. It's busy, blah, blah, it's because we came on lunchtime. So it's always busy on lunch. So let's go. I am uh, back home after McDonald's. I was going to film right after coming out of McDonald's, but uh, my hands were full. I had uh, bought this Montreal Steak Spice Angus Burger, and uh, that will be up probably this Friday. So by the time you see this vlog, uh, the video will be up on Friday. So it won't be up when you see this vlog, but it will be up Friday. But I also did a comparison video between two coffees, Tim Hortons and McDonald's. You'll have to see uh, what I said about these two types of coffees in the episode of Coffee Time, second episode. So I'll show you guys behind the scenes, basically. So this is like the behind the scenes. You guys see my camera right there. 
And you got my coffee, my Tim Hortons, and my McDonald's, and my computer. But this is like the behind the scenes of when I shoot my videos for the review channel. About to get a haircut. Get all this excess hair. I'm gonna shave. Here is my haircut. Don't I look cool? I don't want I look nice. Now I'm gonna shave and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. So I'll see you when I'm out. And I am uh, back for the vlog on this beautiful Monday. Right now it's about 10 minutes before 10. It's been a very long day, but at the same time a very fast day. It's been quite fast. So tonight we had celebrate steak for supper with roasted potatoes and corn and of course gravy. And then this afternoon we went to McDonald's for coffee, but I also went to Tim Hortons. I did a comparison video, uh, which will be up next week on Coffee Time. So hope you guys all stay tuned for that. Yes, another episode of Coffee Time is coming up, coming to you shortly. Um, I think it's going to be on Thursday, which will be April the 5th. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's going to be April the 5th. That will be the uh, next episode of Coffee Time. And uh, that will be my new haircut with in the video too. So <laughs> what do you guys think about my new haircut? It looks pretty good, doesn't it? So yeah, so this afternoon I did that. I did, I filmed three reviews. Actually, no, five reviews. And now I'm currently editing them all for next week. Because next week I want to get all the reviews up for you guys to enjoy. Uh, this upcoming Sunday we will have... A, a bonus video for you guys so it's gonna be an Easter it's candy that I found at the Dollar Tree that I want to share with you guys especially on Easter it's an Easter candy so hope you guys all enjoy that um, if you guys still haven't checked out out all of this week's line of reviews all those links will be in the description as always I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up as always if you guys did enjoy this vlog you guys want to see more give this video a big old thumbs up subscribe as always don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a vlog. All my links, my social media will be in the description, so do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming reviews, vlogs, and of course, cooking videos. So until next week, have yourself a great week. Peace out. I'm making a birthday smoothie. I got some mixed berries at the bottom. I got blackberries and blueberries. I got some ice, some apple juice, some vanilla yogurt, and more frozen fruit. And now my smoothie is done. Look at that. Delicious and healthy. I had a fantastic day today on my birthday, my 30th birthday, and now my 11 years on YouTube. I want to thank everyone on my Instagram that wished me a happy birthday. Thank you very much. My question for all my fans, my viewers, you guys all seen that I've been playing Pokemon Go and I've been putting it on my Insta story. Would you guys like to see this continue? Would you like me to continue uploading some Pokemon Go? If you guys still haven't checked out this week's vlog, you guys can now check it out, vlog 176. 
The link will be in the bio, and as always, let me know what you guys all think, and if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Oh, we're done with breakfast, which was phenomenal. It was pretty good. So if you, um, this is going to be for the future. If you ever want to come to Shrewsbury, I'll leave all the links in the description so you guys can all check it out. But it was really good. The sneak peek of the vlog that I posted before this uh, this one on my Insta story. Do you guys want to see more sneak peeks in video form in my Insta story? Let me know in a survey, yes or no. What is up, uh, CB12 squad? Today it is Saturday, March the 24th. And like I've told you guys last night, we are at the Maple Syrup Festival in Shrewsbury. So... I'm just, we're just uh, waiting. Good afternoon, CB12 squad. Today it is Friday, March 23rd. It is the first day I'm actually vlogging for this week's vlog. This week has been a, a very busy week. Um, my birthday was on Wednesday. I am uh, back after the Maple Festival. Uh, it was a bit disappointing, but the fact that it was my first year attending the Maple Festival, I kind of understood. Uh, yeah. yeah.